My name is Articular Pony. My name is Zodiac Nicola. And you're listening to the Yes Show. Hello and welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 157. I am your host, Nomi Sanzo. Joining me today is Ro. Hello, all you happy people. Hey there, Ro. How are you doing, man? I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm PGT fine and dandy for now. Cool, yes. Cool, cool. cool. And, well, next up is Kickers King. Hey guys, how are you going? How are you doing, man? Not bad, not bad. Just uh, average Saturday, chilling, relaxing. I have a feeling that we're going to see more of you in the future. Is that right? I don't know. Uh, you can only see me once I surprise you from behind. <laughs> hey, where'd hey, where Kick go? Is uh, He was here a minute ago. Boom. I'm here uh, now. Surprise, but fun. Speaking of surprises. <laughs> yeah, speaking of surprises, you're part of the crew now, right? Oh, uh, wow, <laughs> Shanghai. Yeah, yes, Captain. <laughs> I Captain, me, Captain. Uh, yes. Speaking of surprises, we've got a... Uh, who have we got? Who do we got? Yes, guest for this week is Anticola Pony and Zodiac Nicola. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 Check his pulse, he's not there. Surprise! <laughs> oh, fine. He's <Surprise>. fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just send back that, right? Just send back that. No problem. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? Doing great. Doing great. So, the last time when we had you on, Antti was the guest host, Nicola, you were the guest, and uh, what should we call this? We had an awesome interview, and I, I think on that episode, I said I would ship you to, like, ship, 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 ship. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, any new updates? Um... He's my boyfriend now. <laughs> and when, yeah, because when that caught, when that when that last one happened, we were kind of liking each other, but we just didn't want to push, you know, like force anything yet. So we were taking it slowly, and now we are actually dating. Oh my, that's awesome! So how long has it been? Like three months, three four months. Three four months. months. Really, okay. has it been that long? Like. Yeah, October. October. End, end, oh, end of November. No, end of November. I mean, yeah, end of November. Mm. The three months. Too late for the uh, love poison to wear off then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Cadence, you did it. One job. One job. Ah. Anyway. Quiet. I'm just thinking, like, when was the last time you were on? I, I really need to double check that because this is fascinating. Yeah. Oh, it was October, I think, last time I was on. Really? No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it sa- it, that, that sounds about right. Hmm, okay, okay. I can't remember. It's cool, it's maybe, cool. maybe the viewers should just go back and watch everything from about October to now, just to make sure. <laughs> true, yeah. true. Hey, go, go do uh, that. Leave it up to you viewers. <laughs> yeah, go you do viewers, that. you have homework. Today, King House Gang is giving you the homework of going back and watching all the other episodes. Yes. Yay. I want you to I want you to come back to me and write back the episode and the time frame of which they talk, what they talk about and the date. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. So anyway, uh looks like my shipping power is amazing. Yay. So you're to blame for Twilight and Flash then. Curse you, Norman. I told them they should talk, not date. God dang it. <laughs> but anywho, but anywho, uh Auntie Nicola, before we move on, I need to ask you, well, I already asked you the four important questions. I'm just going to do a refresher course. And the first two, favorite characters and favorite episodes. So who's going to go first? Ladies first? You, no, you can. Oh, okay. so that, that would be me then. That would be me then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you are the lady the in the relationship? I, 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 am, I am the lady. <laughs> lady. She wears She's the pants. Lady. Which means I don't have to no. wear any. Good. The way I like it. <laughs> Okay, moving on swiftly. <laughs> I like... Sweetie Bart is still underage. Sweetie Bart <laughs> is still underage. <laughs> Favorite character, huh? It's changed from Rainbow Dash to now Sunset Shimmer after the freaking equation. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. But you're talking about human sunset. Like, she's no pony. Human sunset, pony sunset. It's not what you look like on the outside. It's the pony it's on the inside. You are on the inside. All right, all right. Wise words, wise words. So, sunset, alright. What about yeah. episode? 
episode, favorite episode, party one. Still party one. Okay. Always party one. Nice, nice. And Nicola? Um, favorite pony? I don't really have a favorite pony. I, I, I'm still the same. Like, I like all the ponies. Like, I, I can't choose. They're all just great. Except for a couple I don't like. But let's not get into the ones I don't like. I might like, make some enemies. <laughs> like Flash? No, I'm Flash. He's alright. I don't really mean. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, every pony's favourite. So, what about episode? Episodes? I, the same as, um, uh, what's it called? Pinky Pride? Pinky Pride? Wow, that, that's a good one. I, I yeah, Pinky, Pinky Pride is a good one. And, uh, what's it called? Uh, Lunar Episodes, Season 2, Halloween 1. Uh, Luna, Luna Luna Eclipse. Eclipse. Yes, yeah, that one. That's it. Yeah, Those that's... are my two favourite episodes. Those are good ones. Those are good ones. The bat ponies. <laughs> oh, it's stop the bats. Stop the bats. Stop the bats. Make them go and not come back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, right. Adorable. Uh, you, you're going to kill the audience, Nicola. You're going to kill the audience. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, but, but anyway. Either suddenly with a heart attack or slowly with diabetes. <laughs> I think uh, it's a combination of both. <laughs> no, with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. I think that's... <laughs> we got Pink Amina all up in here. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway... Oh, Nicholas, how are you going to kill people with a knife? Wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> I'm yes. going to shank you in the back when you're not looking. She yeah. knows where I keep the knives. I uh, know. Any, anyway... <laughs> you you place. Anyway, um, thank you guys for answering those two important questions. And let's move on to the next topic. Um, next topic. Ro, you think you can take this one? Mm, the housekeeping? Yep, Roger yep. that. The Air Free Northwest Convention, known for having, of if not the strongest, writing tracks in the MLP fandom, is back with another great writing contest. Last year's Air Free Northwest Writing Contest had over 75 entries with a combined total of 30,000 views in their first month, which was pretty proud of. We gave away some great prizes too. This time we're back and we're better than ever, ready to pit otters against each other in a friendly contest to see who can best portray friendship via the written word. We're looking for writers who want to have fun and enjoy winning awesome prizes. Links can be found in the show notes below. Cool, cool. So if this sounds familiar like last week, it's a repeat. And yeah, guys, uh, the contest is going to end soon. So if you want to win cool, awesome prizes and write fan fiction at the same time, join in because it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And King, what do you think? You, you write the stories. Would you like to enter this? I think uh, I should send the one I linked. To, I wrote in about five minutes to you a little while ago. That was quite fun. <laughs> Just uh, uh, someone yeah. challenged me to do a five-minute uh, intro to a story. I went, uh, okay, then wrote it, and then it came out silly. I think I should send that in. You, you should, you should put more effort into it and try, man. Because the first prize, if you win, is. Uh, inclusion of full story in convention comic book after the full edit. Uh, what else do they do? The story featured on the site post announcement, announcing the writer of the contest first place. Blah blah blah. I mean, there's a lot of good, amazing things. Like you even get a twenty dollar Amazon gift card and more other stuff by Everfree Northwest. So yeah, if you want. Go do it, and word limit is about a thousand to three thousand words, so that's not bad. Hmm. Well, as, as you know, I like I'm pretty busy with the, the videos, the editing, and the, the drawing. But on the writing side, recently I got a, an influx of people asking me for things like that. Um, I'm writing a story for an animation, which I may have mentioned previously, but uh, I'm also writing for a friend of mine who has uh, he he has this idea where he wants to go. And I'm flashing it out. That is literally about it. Uh, one of the first notes that came to me was, so he wants Celestia to be having a fight with Luna, but with sticks and stones. And I went, what do you mean by sticks and stones? He went, I don't know, just throwing them at each other. I said, great, great, st- great introduction. Okay, I'll, I'll get right on that. And somehow it's nearly finished. I don't know how <laughs> that's happened, but it, it's it's looking to be around 10,000 words at this point oh, wow. with about 10 chapters. What? He asked for a 1,000. I don't know how I got to that point. Hmm. Mm. Well, now. <laughs> uh, well, anywho, 
speaking, if you're interested, information can be found in the show notes. And if anyone else is interested, information can be still found in the show notes. And moving on, moving, no problem. And moving on, we have guests. And like I mentioned before, we got Antikola and Nicola. So guys, mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you do? I draw Sonic OCs. <laughs> 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 you pronounce the Senpai, you pronounce that wrong. It's Sanurk. Sa- Sanurk Osis. Very bad one. Oh, God. Are you sure you're not a furry artist? <laughs> I also draw furry trash. <laughs> like that time on your Picato? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Never forget, Anticular Pony is actually a furry trash. No, at least I, no. at least I, at least I openly admit I'm very trash. You need to too. I, 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 that was a mistake. I'm an ironic one. <laughs> that sounds like a heavy metal band. <laughs> Are you two playing music? <laughs> playing your uh, right yeah, now? Yeah. No. <laughs> Jokes aside, I don't draw Sonic. Shannon. Oh, Steve. Shannon. I draw ponies. <gasps> My little it's ponies. Hot. It's a plot twist. Yeah, it's a huge plot twist. I, I actually draw ponies. They're not much better than Sonic Host. <laughs> not really, not. not really that much better. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Whew. I thought he really drew Sonic OCs. So what do you draw, Pony OCs? That's not really better. <laughs> well, it's just not really that better, but... Unless we're talking about uh, a certain DJ, which I think we need to discuss. <laughs> later on, later on. So, you, you're also anti mistaken, and you're also the mod for a Sunshine Moonbeam, right? It's a tiny blog. It's a very small blog. Okay. Just... Okay. Small Ten thousand small. <laughs> okay. Ten thousand tiny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I am the mod of our sunshine and moonbeams. All right, all right. And I also have a TV and art where I do paintings. You know, pretty shabby, but, you know, it's all right. All right, all right. It's and... okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Nicola? I'm Zodiac Nicola. I draw ponies and furry and weirdly trash mostly. I also have a Tumblr blog, ass blog. Um, it's Luna based. Like we mentioned last time I was on, it's my Luna based Tumblr blog. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I draw a lot of ponies and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I I seen the blog. I I seen the blog, and it's hard for me to. Say it's it's very, it's um, very uh, revealing. It's very revealing. revealing. <laughs> you, you know about a different side of Luna, yeah, and her ass Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm bet I'm I'm betting tetra ponies all over this one, but anywho. So you you guys are currently dating, and you guys are, uh, you guys have your own blogs and whatnot. So obvious question is. Do you guys help each other out? Oh, all the time, really. Yeah. Yeah, I usually I go go to her and like I can't come up with anything for the next update, and she usually comes through and helps me. Yeah, like I helped you with the um, what was I help? I helped you with Five Nights at Freddy's and the um and the spinny chair one. <laughs> I was just like, do yeah. this, do that, done. <laughs> Listen to me, and it will be good. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what they say: behind every great man is a great woman. Usually, another great man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think that works, King. I think it's... I think I've been looking at the wrong picture. Sorry, carry on. Oh God, no! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> so, uh, from what I'm assuming is that uh, Nicola gives you the idea, right, Enti, for some. Uh, blog updates yeah, for, some, for some updates when I'm like really feeling stuck go with her oh, okay and uh, yay and what about you Nico what, what does Auntie help with uh, he helps with more not really my um, Tumblr blog that much like he sometimes just gives me like simple ideas and stuff like I don't know do like food based stuff but um, those are usually the jokes he comes up with are uh, puns oh god <laughs> and oh, we... um, yeah, he usually helps me with my more painty stuff and be like, oh, add more um, hair shine, more more shadow here, you know, just simple things like that, just like just to improve it. Like he helps with my latest piece, 
and the piece before that, mm. and the piece before that, mm. and the piece before that. <laughs> so does he recommend you drawing leaves? Yes, hmm. he wants me to draw so many leaves. Um, that's yes. what, yes, that's I what do. I'm going to get him for his next birthday. It's just a bag of leaves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why did he just draw so many leaves? Copy paste would be much easier. Because I'm crazy, okay. Dude, copy paste is not the way of the artist. That's the way of um, anyone else but an artist. Cheeky <laughs> really. Cheeky you, 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 you must do it the authentic way, you know, paint it one by one. Art is a spiritual trip, Norman. You gotta know that. Yeah. Um, and there's no spirituality in copy paste. No, says the view count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but joking aside, joking aside. So you guys help each other out. Enti, how has your blog been since the last time we talked? The last time we talked, how many followers is it at? I think it's about 5,000. No, not 5,000. No, I don't think so. I think it was at three, 4,000? Probably. Yeah, approximately around that area. Yeah. Uh, right now it's at 9,700. How? What did uh, you do? <laughs> just, just kept drawing, really. I don't, I don't know. I, I hypnotize everyone... people with, uh, you know, special gifts. <laughs> special gifts. Yes, yeah. indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> loves the Camelot sisters. It's mm. a fact. True, true, true. So, King, I think you wanted to point something out, right, with one of Auntie's drawings. Yeah, since we started this, I've actually been staring at it, and it's actually really hypnotic. Um, it's my latest update, and I'm not even joking. As Even as I speak to you now, I'm staring at the picture full screen on a completely separate screen to everything else, is your latest blog, which starts out with Luna saying, this night will last forever. And then the next picture is a gif or jif, depending on which side of the argument you're on. And you're wrong if you say jif. Um <laughs> <laughs> is where it says DJ Moonbeams and Loon is bouncing up and down and the next post is Celestia trying to get to sleep. It's just <laughs> so hypnotic, I can't look away. It's absolutely fantastic. And I I just can't wait till people start putting music to this. It's because it's pulsating at you. It's like I know, right? It's it's like <laughs> it's like it's like it's like a heartbeat. It's like yeah. so hypnotic, man. I need a love lamp and some weed. Quick, get me. I need these things. It's just like the spinny chair one. Spinny chair just spinning around. Oh, God. Oh, oh yeah. You literally around. destroyed one of my friend's lives for about a week with that. He just <laughs> stares at it. <laughs> you spin me right around. But oh, I, I still think that if you span the other character the other way around, you you would be able to put subliminal messages in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's just Please insane. Log this post. <laughs> log it more. So uh, you were saying, you were saying, yeah, there you go. It's not the copy and paste that gets the views, it's the hypnotic subliminal messages. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I so, always include, uh, try to include hypnotic subliminal messages in my episodes. So, uh, that includes one of your late, uh, one of your late posts. The one where you got 9,000. What followers? <sighs> oh yeah. So predictable. <laughs> uh, I, I had to do it. I know you did, and that's <laughs> what makes me mad about the, the, the society we live in. It's like I had to do it. Why? Because everyone else was. <laughs> oh, I, just... I, w- I figured I would never have another chance to do this. Kind I know. Of thing. I know. Well, I know, King. I uh, you'll be glad to know that that post only got 778 notes. So, oh, yeah, sure. Only. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen? Say, I thought you were about to make a comment and say, yeah, but you'll never get to 9,000. <laughs> That's not nice! <laughs> <laughs> I know what that mean. But have you even looked at the post of above that one? The blue dress, gold dress thing? Uh, that one got... Please not. <laughs> that one got 2,000 plus Notes, so, no, yeah. So they got more than the DJ one. <laughs> I can't believe I actually had to ban the word dress off all my dashboards because of that. <laughs> oh, God. Ro, you're, you're thinking things too uptight. 
Dude, I want my dashboard to be clean. I came for the internet for three specific things, and the dress was not one of them. Well, you you dress. you you need to filter who you're following. You need to filter who you're following. If I filter who I'm following, that means I'll have no fo- no one else to follow. You have okay. me. <laughs> we, we need to get this out of the open. It's black and blue, and it's pronounced GIF. End of story. Okay. <laughs> I'm still trying to correct people that's like, oh, can you make a GIF with this? Did you mean GIF? No, I said GIF. I know, but did you mean GIF? Oh, why are you smiling at me? Because I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> but that's, that, that's white and gold. Uh, you're really pushing my face. And see the vein on my head there? Yes, yes, it's black and blue. <laughs> oh. I, here we go. This dead horse, is it black and blue or white and gold? Uh, so is the... It. Is there anything else that we need to announce? Like, Best Princess is Luna? Cadence. Um... <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really? Please move on swiftly before this gets ugly. <laughs> I just had a rant about how everyone else is wrong, and I go... This is it. <laughs> you say Cadence is the best horse. Uh, but... <clears throat> <laughs> wow. That, that, that took a dark turn. <laughs> but, yeah... You're, you're you're kind of going places there, Auntie, with your sunsh- uh, sunshine moonbeams, and with Nicola's help, you've been getting a lot of good ideas. That's pretty awesome. I get a lot of my ideas from other people. Call it inspiration, if you will. The, the next update is actually the uh, Lycan's idea. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! It, ha- it has <laughs> no apple, apple bloom. bloom. <laughs> <laughs> there is no apple bloom. Just say. <laughs> so there are puns. Is that what I'm getting from this? Because it's uh, one of no the puns. other. No puns, actually. So this is a different lichen we're talking about then. Right, got you, got you. No, no, no. This is the exact same lichen that you and I know and kind of sort of love. <laughs> all right. You all hear right. that, Nicola? You've got a challenger. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> That's not a word. That's a word. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sweetie bot. Uh, but, but anyway, Nicola, Nicola, uh, you've recently posted two updates on your... Tumblr and also DeviantArt, and those are a Moonlit Sea and Lunchtime, right? So let's talk about Lunchtime. How long did it took you to draw this one? Um, well, I started that one a couple of weeks ago. I did out the sketch, and I was like, because oh, I need more Reebu trash in my life, obviously. <laughs> so, um, and then for the past week and a half, I've just been slowly working on it when I haven't been working. And, um, yeah, so I've been working on it since like a week ago or two, like properly colouring it. it. Took me a while. It was mainly done on one layer, so mm-hmm. yeah, the majority of that was on one layer, apart from like the eyes and just like minor things. Why do that? Like, why do it? Because under- I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same reason no. why I drew all those leaves, really. No, uh, it's because I wanted to try something new, and I see a lot of artists doing a lot of like the main thing on one layer. So I was just like, oh, and plus it adds like a really nice painterly effect to mm-hmm. it, like a nice mm-hmm. blended way. And um, with the brushes I use, it kind of does add like a really nice kind of thing. It does look amazing. Thank I'm you. actually looking at this now and thinking I need to use this hair for reference for my for my next piece that I'm doing. <laughs> Especially Twilight, because it's Twilight I'm drawing. I I think it's amazing. It's it's adorable. It, it's adorable in it's like you said, a wee boo way. It's absolutely <laughs> adorable. I just can't. Yeah, and I also tried new like lighting techniques and like different color stuff. Like, um, if you to actually color pick uh, Twilight, she isn't actually a purple. She's actually a pink. And how like the blue is actually like a reddish color, like a pinky reddish color instead of natural blue. And it's all like I, I try to use like lighting to use different colors to make it look like a different color. If that makes sense. It yeah. does, it does, it does. Yes. I like in the background to have what I assume is to be cherry bottom tree. In the oh, obviously. Well, yeah, yeah, it's... yeah, really it's brings really it brings it together. Cherry. And um, and on Twilight's bento box, there is cherry blossom, like little um, yeah, petals. Cool. cool. Yeah. But uh, like as, as complete 180 to the absolutely adorable school setting, the Moonlight Sea is more beautiful than cute. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to go for a different feel on this one. Much more cooler colours, I believe. Is yes, a lot, lot more blue. It's, it's all blue. 
It's all blue. Yeah, pretty bad. Well, yeah. I was just thinking, it's like, it's mostly blue, but it still looks fantastic. No, um, no, no, that's all blue. That's all blue. I do see a bit of green. Uh, blue down. Yeah, blue but that's still down. technically, it's still like, if you would colour pick it, it would still be a blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's all blue. Well, it's Luna, by the way. It's Luna. Is yeah. it black or blue? Oh, God, oh, no, I not this again. To. Please, not. Just had to. <laughs> Oh, it's a gold and white picture. What the, what the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> gold and white picture, gee. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Celestia then, alright. Yes, it's not Luna, it's Celestia. <laughs> Get it right, jeez. <laughs> Damn, Celestia, you got a lot of helicopters with this guy if that's not night time. <laughs> alright. But no, that, it looks really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Especially the angle, because it looks like someone's taking a photo. For, not below. Angled uh, down below. It looks really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the line in between there, it does make the illusion of the camera is in the water. So, still, awesome job. Thank you. I, yeah. Luckily, this one, this, this one wasn't done on one layer, because that would have killed me. <laughs> uh. That would have absolutely killed me, and that was not the feel I wanted to go with this drawing. <laughs> this, is, this was done on, like, 40 layers. It was insane. But, oh, the, just, like but just Luna, like her hair, her body, everything apart from her eye, is um is done on one layer. It's just more like the background and the jellyfish and the bubbles and the um like the sea that was all done on different layers. It's just her; she was done on one layer. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Including the really fantastic flowing tail in the water. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Oh yeah, that that is good. That is good. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Like, wow, th- this is this looks good. Thank you. Make prints so I can buy. Make prints so I can buy. Well, let's hope Auntie and I get into uh, G- uh, GBBC so we can go sell our prints. Ooh. Yay. Talking about yeah. prints, if I'm not mistaken, you're trying to do a set of prints, right? Yes. yes. Uh, this is, um, I've done up five. The fifth one is the lunchtime one. Mm-hmm. And you've done like six, haven't you, Auntie? Not done. Well, I have. Have I? Yeah. Five, I think. Not so much, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, but you're Five. working on like, you're working on like four of them at a time. Yeah, so. I'm working at four of them at a time, so. I, yeah, I only finished this one like, like a day or two ago, so I, I haven't even started working on my next one yet. Impressive. True, true. I, I see that, well, I, I'm thinking time restriction is not giving you more time to update more, right? Yeah, like, I want to try and get an update out by tomorrow, like, well, the Sunday before this goes out, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, because it just, it is, stuff gets in the way. True, true. And, like, I try to do, I try to re- um update every two weeks, every fortnight, if I can, but sometimes I'm going to have to skip that, so I might just update next week instead. Oh, alright, alright. Well, still... This is an awesome drawing. So are we going to see, let's see, uh, Applejack, Rarity, and who else? Sunset? Who is Rainbow, other one? Rainbow Dash? Yeah. <laughs> Guess. Right, okay. We've got, we've got six things we need to remember. The names, <laughs> you need to remember the names of six. It's Twilight, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Applejack. I don't remember the next one. Oh, no. I best go back and watch the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, and no, I, I was kind of thinking of doing a print with just those three, just so then I could, then I can balance it out. Like, I was thinking, like, oh, I should do a Rarajack print, that would be really cute and, like, adorable. And because Rarajack is adorable. And, um, but then I was like, but what about Rainbow Dash? I like Rainbow Dash. So I should actually, you know, have her in a drawing <laughs> with the others. But I am I've, planning. Oh, go ahead. Have a have a uh, Applejack and Rainbow Dash doing something sporty and fun and rarity trying to join in, but uh, <laughs> oh. being scared of the ball or something or whatever they're doing. Uh, I can, I'm sure I can come up with something. I can do them having like a seed of them, just like like you know, like I can do another school part of it, but they're in like a different part of the school or something. Or... Make them play football. Reset. Uh... Yes. <laughs> I can. Damn you, Americans! <laughs> but I, I, I am, I am planning on another group picture because I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not like Trial of Thirteen Ponies like that other drawing. Oh, oh, that, it's this, it's, it's, ever saw. Speaking of Twelve Thirteen Ponies. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. 
<laughs> my 10,000 is coming up, as you guys know. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Are you planning on killing yourself again? Yes! <laughs> and this time I have more followers. So what? what's the next one? What's the next grand, one going to be? Grand total of OCs adds up to 90. <laughs> I was just I was about I was about to jokingly say ha, for every for every ten followers draw one OC that's still a hundred wow <laughs> okay yeah no that's that's still impressive <laughs> wow I, 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 I'm gonna kill myself but I, oh. I really want to get it done I'm sure you'll get it done soon enough my friend I'm sure you get it done soon enough and well uh, there's nothing more I can say good luck because. 10,000 followers, that's not an easy feat to achieve. And how long have this blog been around? Since uh, October? September? So that... uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me check. Can we give you... Eh? Once? Uh, it's been, it's been going for about seven months. Seven months. months? Not even a year and already 10, 000, almost 10,000. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, Andy. What that. was the math we figured out? It was, <laughs> we, what was the math we figured out? It was something like, for every day it's a certain amount, every hour it's something, and every minute it's oh, something yeah. else. I think it's like every minute you get, uh, every hour you get two followers. Yeah. Since you started your blog, that's, that's insane. I, I can't even con- contemplate that. Yeah, it's seven months. Your first post was done seven months ago, mm-hmm. and wow. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I was so bad at art back then. No, it's still it's cute. Just... Like, man, do now with a flamethrower. That was a pack of pad. I got only a thousand followers from that. <laughs> <laughs> so damn jaded. <laughs> yeah, it took a while to get to a thousand, but a thousand to two thousand, that was just really short. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? But still, but still, congratulations, NT. And Nicola, I hope you get the same success too. And when you guys sell prints, I hope to buy them. Oh, no, I will be. Buy our prints. I will add, a, I say, I will say, add another subliminal message. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, all you have to do is make make another make another GIF, guys. <laughs> GIF. GIF. Make it a subliminal. It's not GIF. Uh, make it subliminal. And all it's, all you have to do is say, send one dollar. You have 10,000 followers. <laughs> Think about that. So think about that. That's one dollar. Like all you have to do is say, "Guys, just send me one dollar." That's ten thousand. Guys, send me ten dollars. Uh, guys, send me ten dollars and ten cents. It's like you could do whatever, and it's just like, boom, instant, instant money. Forget the lottery. And he has oh, subliminal boy. messages. Oh boy, oh boy. No, no, no. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. If they're gonna do that, they're gonna bit. They're gonna give it all to me. Wow. <laughs> Wow. But still, and he's, just, uh, and he's looking down at hands going, I have power. I, I have, have the power. No, and he goes mad with power. I actually do. What have I done? Power. Now I see where this relationship is going. Nicola <laughs> controls Anti and Nick gets. Mm, yep, yep. Now I see. Now I see. If what? Anti goes. <laughs> if Anti goes. Nicola oh, goes. I'm going, I have the power. <laughs> Uh, if Andy goes power crazy, Nicola knows how to control him. I don't have to control Andy Every... anyway. <laughs> yeah, she, she just she just brings out the whip. Exactly. <laughs> see, see, that's gets it. Get in the car. He's already well <laughs> Oh god, too much info. Too much info. <laughs> <laughs> well, Norman, I, I'm quite happy listening. <laughs> Different podcast, different podcast, my friend. But anyway, thank you guys. Uh, is there anything that we're missing that we haven't touched upon yet? How, like, how have you guys been generally, rather than just we're looking at your art? I mean, been busy, other than literally, other than together. What's like <laughs> been doing stuff, fun stuff that came out wrong. But you know what I mean. That sounded so dodgy. What are you trying it to did, ask? It did, but you know what did I, I meant. Did I make him get in the bed and bite the pill? Is that what you're trying to ask? No, you went, whoa, you went that way. I can get my wrong, I'll admit, but that works. No, I meant like, um, like, because you, you both live in uh, the same area, I do. So, because I met you, Auntie, at Book, along with Norman. You saw me at that. Briefly, very briefly. Yeah. Um, so, like, have you gone to any of the conventions or anything like that? 
like within time since then? No. No. Nope. Okay. Well, that conversation went nowhere. <laughs> but we're planning <laughs> to go. We're gonna go to GBBC. And when is that? GBBC. That is in July. In, in the end of July. And what does that stand for? Great British Brony Oh. oh, I am going to that. I was just thinking, I don't know about that one. Oh, no, wait, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, were, we were initially planning to go to Galacon, but they, they, they declined our vending application. So Aww. It, it's also very expensive to go. You know, I might try and go to GBBC. That might be really? cool. Yay! Come to GBBC! We can take another we'll selfie. See, we'll, see, we'll see if we get vending there, too. Yeah, we yeah. we better get bending there. I swear to God, I'm <laughs> yeah. messing, I'm messing. But like, it was sad that we didn't at Garlicon because we were looking for. Cool. Like, I, I, I'm gonna try and see where if I can make it this time or not. And who knows if I do try and go, I'll apply for a panel. Who knows? You, me, King, let's go up on stage. Let's let's rock the world with oh, our. Yeah. You're gonna yeah, put me but... on stage. That is yep. a bad idea. Well, they can't put me on stage. I'll be too busy hiding in the mountains. <laughs> welcome, Norman. Welcome, James. Welcome, Kick. Oh, my God, he's hitting us. Run for the hills. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, I'm looking... That's I'm not what I meant. I'm beautiful on the inside. <laughs> uh, who knows? Maybe I can ask you guys, you, you two guys to come on, too. That'll be fun, right? Uh, should we yeah, have sure. a panel? Well, how to get good scrub. Is that what <laughs> we get, call it? How to get good at art scrub. <laughs> That's why I want to call my first art panel How to Get Good Scrub. <laughs> wow, egos inflated much. Uh, yeah, no, I, like me. That's just depressing. I'm messing, That's I'm messing. legitimately depressing. I'm messing. I, I do not have an inflated ego like that. Don't worry. <laughs> oh. oh boy. So, anywho, anywho, thank you guys for coming on. And. Let's move on to the next topic because if we keep on that one, I got no idea how Sweetie Bot's going to react. <laughs> she is already overloaded, man. I think we're going to need to bring her in for repairs. Oh god, no! But anyway, Ro, it's your time to shine. All right, Kick, okay, watch and learn how the professionals do it. <laughs> Whoa! I think that was a dig at me. Shots fired. Oh Shots yeah, fired. that was a dig at me. <laughs> if anyone watched last night, last week's episode, anyway. that was definitely. Me. Watch, <laughs> listen, and learn, boy. <clears throat> wow. In today's news time, commercial flights to Equestria are now in the work, waiting for princess approval. American Airlines has hopped on the pony flight bandwagon with a response over a Twitter. Apparently, we can expect to see flights to Equestria open up, assuming Celeste and Luna approve it. Can someone get a petition going? I want to go to Ponyland. After American Airlines responded to questions about trips to Equestria, Key LM has responded in kind with their own little hint of pony. It's so fun to see the staff behind these accounts having a good time with it. Just like when JetBlue started tweeting out ponies so long ago. Links can be found in the show notes below. Yeah, this... This one, my friends. <laughs> this made me chuckle. Uh, did anyone see the tweet? Yes. And now I'm thinking, how is this going to go? Is this like a travel to like outer space for a black hole where... To another dimension, or is there actually a quest somewhere here on the planet Earth? <laughs> <laughs> or is it a theme park? Kind of, some kind of interstellar thingy. If or is it just mistaken, a theme park like Disneyland? If I'm not mistaken, the quest is in New Zealand. If I'm New mistaken. Zealand? New Zealand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Really? It is. Yeah, let me see. Oh, it's a well, real surprise, place. Surprise. <laughs> it's an actual place. I think it's a town, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, yeah, like Equestria, that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it is, because, um. Not that I googled, uh, not that I googled it at all, that'd be silly. No, 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 no. Sure, sure. Maybe, sure. maybe a little bit. Okay. New Zealand and Equestrian Federation. Yep, it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, looking at my Google search engine, typing the word Equestria leads me to everything ponies. So clearly, my uh, clearly my life has been re- revolving around ponies. Ay ay ay. So uh, the tweet from American Airlines, uh, they say that we plan flying there just as soon as we get permission from Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. Stay tuned. And here, what cracks me up? Here, what cracks me up? 
somewhere in the tweet over there is Nicole Oliver giving them the thumbs up. <laughs> Nicole Oliver. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, approval. See, I'm I, I'm going to claim false advertising if this isn't real. <laughs> it's not real. I'm looking at what? that tweet right now. <laughs> Nicole Oliver. <laughs> <sighs> but still, but still, it's one of those situations where um, private companies are having fun with themselves, and this is uh, this is awesome. This is awesome. And Nicola, what, what do you think? You've been quiet. Oh, sorry, I, I'm I'm drawing. That's why. But, um, I know. <laughs> I know. Yes. It's for the wicked. Um, I think yeah, I think it's really fun. I, I it's. When companies do silly things like that, it it's just good, I guess. I don't know what to say, what hasn't already been said. I'm like, I don't know, it's just good. It's good. True, 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 true. What else can we say? At least they didn't mess up like uh, Krispy Kremes. Wait, yeah. what? Oh, I know what you're talking about. What happened? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Krispy, Krispy Kreme. Long story short, Krispy Kreme wanted to do some kind of club thing, and let's just say that they didn't use the internet. <laughs> anyway, and, and as for KLM, 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 that, that's another one. Like KLM, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, purely European flight, right? Wouldn't know off the top of my head. I'd have to look that one up. Anti? Nico? Ro? You guys know what anything about K- this? What is KLM? Mm. No idea. <laughs> I don't right even here. know what KLM is. It's oh, a... Right. Yeah. No, you're right. No, Lo- you're Royal right. Dutch Airlines, apparently. Uh, ah, yeah. all right. Hey, but... can you... I cannot pronounce this. We, we need... uh, but yeah. But yeah, so anyway, um, they got this almost the same question, and um, here's what they say. Sorry, we don't, earn, we don't offer any flights to Equestria yet, but we always make a dash for the rainbow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Ah! Wow. That's beautiful. That's lichen level. I love it. Ah. Oh, there's an airline not going to fly soon. <laughs> no hurts. way. My head but... just hurts. That's just painful. <laughs> that was but, you know but still, but still, you know what? This is, this is still awesome. This is still awesome because <laughs> we get, uh, we, we get a flight that's really silly in the delivery like waiting for approval and uh, KLM give us uh, puns I say good job we we need more things like this like uh, those people in their PR department who's answering this they took research in this mm. <laughs> they seriously did research in this before, <laughs> before See, answering. if I ever get a flight on them I want the, the waiting music for when you're boarding to just be my little pony, my little pony. <laughs> or oh, for the, uh, the, the, I want the, uh, the stewardess or the flight attendant to be really bubbly like Pinkie Pie and dressed up in oh, like, no. I don't know, no. Equestria Girl style. No, Cos- no, cosplay no. Airlines. Oh yeah. <gasps> That's no. a, I want this to be, a th- I'm Googling that one second. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I guess, I think it's Cosplay Airlines. You might find some weird, dodgy Japanese stuff if you, if you <laughs> I, I know there's a cosplay cafe. Oh, meat cafes are, do exist. No, um, honestly, if I want a flight right, I, I want the flight attendant to be like mod. Like, mod. you're, you're, you're amazing. tired. You, you want to be left alone. And I, I want mod as my stewardess. Like, hello, what can I get you? Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Flying is already a miserable thing. I don't want the people that are meant to be looking after me to be more <laughs> miserable than I am. That's my job. <laughs> I can't be cheering them up. That's not why I'm there. They're meant to cheer me up. <laughs> not make me want to jump out of the plane. That's what you pay for. <laughs> pay for service. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Service. Um, <laughs> Apparently, this cosplay airline isn't a thing. I think we have. I think we have a money maker. <laughs> um, I, I called dibs on the uh, copyright things. Y'all have to go through me. Get it? Oh. Fine, I'll buy the airline. You can. Okay, fine. Nicola can supply the the cosplays. I'll, yeah. I'll be one of the people. Oh my! I'm planning to go and see the plane. 
when I go to GDC, I'm planning of wearing a made outfit of some sort of stuff. Oh my! She's gonna be More my just girl. girl. She's gonna uh, she's can gonna we move on stuff. swiftly? Yeah, she's, gonna, <laughs> she's gonna help me sell so much. Okay, okay. <laughs> but anywho, but anywho, let's spend our money with some pony credit cards. And uh, yeah, speaking of which, in next news, oh. spend your money with ponies. Pony debit card appears. Car.com has officially licensed prepaid debit cards with ponies on them. At the moment, only the old school vectors are available, including season one Luna as her only showing for the set. Links can be found in the show notes below. I want. So, yeah. I want. I, I was so tempted to get one. Like, but same here. <laughs> but can't you already like order like uh custom pictures on your cards? Like some I've seen some people have you such things like puppies or family that. members. No. I know that is America. Like I have seen some pictures. Yeah. Can. Unfortunately, if we want that in the UK, we have to we have to actually apply to the website for an entirely new bank account. And I've already checked this out. That's the thing. I have to get make a new bank account just to go. Hey guys, check this out. <laughs> it's an old vector, but it's still cool. No, Why okay. Um, the, um, the the one know. that Ro is talking about is a legitimate service where you can customize your credit card to any picture family member you want and yes it's true you can do it but the whole process takes a lot of time a lot of money and in the end it won't be really worth it in the end so now Not really <laughs> yeah yeah this one here what card.com is doing is really awesome like they say there's no overdraft fees, late fees or penalty fees, no minimum balance, access to ATMs around the world, easy direct deposit, blah, blah, blah. But if you take a look, see at everything, there's a lot of hidden charges. Yep. Like monthly fee entry, card activation fee, interactive fee, domestic ATM, cash withdrawal fee, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of fees behind it. So it's not that free, my friends. It's not that free. Sorry, I'm just distracted by all the pretty colors on the cards. I'm looking at them going, I want, I want, I want, but I can't have. But, but, <sighs> but, if, if you're in America, if you live there in America, you, well, um, how do I put this? You're lucky you can apply, but if you're under the age of 18, ask your parents for permission because we don't want you to get into trouble. And if you're above 18, make sure that you have responsible spending habits because we don't want you to go bankrupt. <laughs> Having pony credit card is cool, but yeah, it's not easy. Never spend more than you can afford unless you're buying pony products, in which case go mental. True that, true that. True. But you know, uh, there's a thing in Malaysia where we, we don't do this on the credit cards, but we do this for... Touch go card like your <laughs> yeah octopus or what what guys what do you have guys o octopus we have oyster we yeah because oyster. in Hong Kong I think they use octopus but you guys guess you guys use oyster oyster yeah kind of so you know, the, you... those travel cards right yeah 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 mm. okay yeah oyster oyster yeah so what we have here is um we go to any anime weibo trash shop. And we have stickers for your cards where you just paste it on the card. So voila, you already have your um, pretty awesome art card kind of thing. Like you want anime Weibo trash? There you go. You can have K on on your card. Just use a sticker. <laughs> yep. Old school style. Yep. <laughs> but it looks good. It looks good. Like 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 um like Nicholas laptop. Oh. oh, my laptop. <laughs> yes, it's covered in squishy it's panda. An, it, it, it's like a middle-aged panda with a, uh, like a, um, with a tie on and has a comb over. And they're all really, <laughs> puff, they're all really puffy stickers so you can squish them. And, and they're really adorable. I got them when I was in London. And next time I go, like, in the Chinatown area, I'm going to get so many more and just cover my laptop and more. Make yeah, sure you leave the fans. Let the fans breathe. <laughs> no, no, this is this is this is on like the back of my laptop. Uh, you mean the, the front, the back of the screen? Yeah, 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 the back of the screen. Yeah. It's not actually on <laughs> on the keyboard or anything. That's completely that's completely plain. <laughs> well, at least we know that you're legit with your laptop. Yes. 
Yes. Do you have any Apple logos on the laptop? <laughs> like, pasted there? Sorry? The, my laptop. Yeah, any Apple logos pasted on your laptop? Apple logos, no. Uh, some people do that, man. Some people do that. But, Who yeah. would do that? <laughs> hit, hit my laptop with Nicholas. Hey, I have an Apple laptop. <laughs> Good on you, my friend. Good on you. I had an Apple laptop once. Okay. Apple laptop, never again. Oh, <laughs> Not a good experience with Apple. <laughs> Just, I, I like the iPhone, but the you Apple won't have computers aren't too great, in my opinion. They're good for creating stuff, but... They're, yeah, they're good for work. Well, yeah, but who wants to use a computer for work? God. Yeah, I mean... Laptop stickers are awesome. Lap- I don't know, in Apple and whatnot, they have their own design of stickers that you can paste on your laptop, like a very interesting Legend of Zelda sticker or whatnot. But hey, um, that's kind of not new. But hey, so anyway, with that out of the way, with credit card being spent on pony merchandise with credit card by ponies, um, I say we go to a topic I, that I should discuss earlier and how have you been spending your week? And Ro, how have you been spending your week? My week? Um, uh, pacing back and forth, thinking about the meanings of life, dropping sketches, making doodles, making ravioli. Uh, uh, I do many things. Ah, that's interesting. And you know, I'm uh, one of those artists. <laughs> hmm. Did any more drawings? I always draw. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's how I make right a living. Up. Cool, cool. And King, what about you? Have, how have you been spending your week? Um, <clears throat> busy. You know, job hunting. Uh, as you know, I passed passed the test, uh, the physical ah. test, uh, the other day, which was good. I still got the theory test to go through for the. And then I've got the job interview. Hopefully that works. If not, oh no. But in between uh, job hunting. I got a sudden influx of commissions on both. Well, it wasn't, I suppose the writing was requests really, but the uh, commissions were a sudden influx and I've just been working on those. Um, so to anyone who's wondering why I haven't po- uh, posted in nearly a month, it's because I got them all at the same time and I've sort of just been working on them stage by stage, all the sketches, all the line art and everything like that. So they will be coming out. Just stop sending me messages, please. I will, I will do them. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm on them. I'm on them. I promise. But, um, right. yeah, job hunt's going well. Oh, cool. So, any, can you give us any hints on what you're gonna be working as? Oh, uh, as or on? Um, as? Simple. I did the, um, the physical test and passed full marks. Uh, the Feynman physical test. I need to go through the theory, which should be easy enough, and then I've got an interview. So, hopefully I'll be Feynman Sam within a couple <laughs> of weeks. Uh, so, wait, you're gonna man. be a fireman then, like, People who kills fires, right? The kill, yes, I, I'm a killer. Oh, right, right. A firefighter, he actually fights the fires. Yeah. Ah, so yeah. you're the Everybody guy that's going to... Kung Fu fire. What? A... Punch a fire. So no, you're um... the guy that's going to be carrying fire axe and throwing them into bottomless pits, right? Yeah, I guess, more or less. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I never got that. How do you, like, why do you have an axe? Just chop, chop the fire out. Just chop it. <laughs> chop it. I know what it's actually uh... for. It's for breaking down doors and getting the wood out of way and things like that. But, um... Yeah, no, I passed the physical, uh, then the theory is coming, so that's, that's good. Awesome on you, man, awesome on you, and congratulations on the first part. Hope you get the job, man, hope you get the oh, job. Yeah, you and me both. So what are the, like, what about you, Norman, how have you been? Oh, I've been okay, I've been okay. Um, nothing much really on my end, did a bit of work, real life work and stuff, and also been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering. Oh, and oh hey, boy, yeah. now I need cash because the new booster's coming out and I need cash to buy some boosters. I'm addicted. Yeah. Speaking of addicted, I have a certain bone to pick with you, Auntie. <laughs> Just <laughs> last night. Did you hear me? Last night, he introduced me to a game. Not just any game. No, no, day viewers. Company of Heroes. Sounds, sounds, you know, normal, like par for the course. No, it's a, it's a, it's a strategy based game for World War II that co-op. Introduced me to that less than 24 hours ago. I've been playing it for nearly 48 hours now. You're a <laughs> terrible, terrible man. <laughs> well. <laughs> and we had some great moments in that as well. It's like, right, I've not even looked at the tutorial. Let's jump in this. I uh, can't see my <laughs> cursor, but let's go for it. Got a 
back to That, that was an down. epic game, I, I have oh. to tell you that. Defend the hill, defend the hill. What about the artillery? Get him! No, we're dying! <laughs> Twilight okay, Hill. Okay, that's it. Yeah, Twilight Hill. Okay, guys, I'm being useless. I'm just going in for the charge. Uh, kick, that's the enemy maze pace. Oh, it is! Let's bomb it, then. <laughs> what are these points for? That's to upgrade your stuff. Oh, I have 11 of these. 11? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I really wish I'd been recording that for the last place. Wow. That, that would be fun to it see. Was, it was so much fun. I, I've been playing that with uh, that and Left 4 Dead with the, with, uh, the gang, Twilight. Yeah. I, I remember playing that once, guys. Like, And thanks for not inviting me, jerks. <laughs> In my defense, I wasn't paying attention. Oh. No. <laughs> so, Andy, how was your week, man? How was your week? Uh, Left 4 Dead, Company of Heroes... <laughs> Uh, university uh, commissions mm. and and lots and lots of Nicola. Oh, yeah, uh, like, like yes, Nicola was... all over my face. <laughs> oh, oh wow, Sampai! <laughs> no, I was over at his place last oh. Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you guys shared the same week then. So how was it? Shared the same week. What is that? <laughs> Uh, it was fun. So uh, I heard that you guys have a tradition where, Nicola, you bake cookies or bake goods for Auntie, and Auntie, you do all the cooking? I do indeed do all the cooking. Oh, yeah. So, wow. Th- that is much wow because a guy who can cook is rare. And Maybe. you know how to really go for the punch for the guy, like giving them big goods, like, no man can withstand the power of big goods. I shall give him big goods. Yeah. Last uh, the time last week, and I didn't bake anything though because, like, I thought we were gonna make pancakes, like we said last time. I thought I was gonna oh, come yeah. over and bake pancakes because we planned to do that, and then we never did it. <laughs> you never did. Oh, no, you guys, should, you guys should have made bacon, bacon pancakes, bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes. pancakes. There's a mix pancake pancakes with bacon. Bacon, pan- well, bacon goes well with everything, pretty much. True, true. Bacon and bacon is the best, though. Uh, bacon, bacon. <laughs> I wonder oh, if you boy. fed a pig yeah, bacon, chocolate would it turn bacon. out really tasty? Which one, no, King? If you fed a pig nothing but bacon for the, for the from the day it's born, the day it goes <laughs> oh. like the day it becomes like the day it goes <laughs> on your <laughs> frying pan. <laughs> would that be bacon flavored bacon? That'd be great. <laughs> Mm, uh, <laughs> we're talking about cannibalism here. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're right. Mm, cannibalistic <laughs> bacon. No, 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 no. Oh god, I think oh. that goes against like a lot of. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kick back. That's how. Bad. That's how. That's how. That's how mad cow disease started. <laughs> yeah, they tried to feed cows meat and then. Why would they do that? I don't bacon, know, trying to fat them bacon up. Bacon-flavored huh? bacon's awesome. They want no. to fatten the cows up faster, and they think more protein <laughs> would work, but instead <laughs> it drove them mad. Oh, uh, God. Did anyone else hear, like, do you know a couple of years ago where Britain had that outbreak of, what was it, was it swine flu? And I think so. <laughs> what was Britain's solution? Burn the animals. Britain smelt like breakfast for about a month. <laughs> I, look, I, I was outside like... Really, it was burn the animals. God, that's like going back to your roots, the plague and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was just like, well, we need to get rid of this. Let's burn the animals. <laughs> Who's making breakfast? Oh, yeah, the farm is. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I, I really like some pancakes. Can I have some pancakes? Bring out your dead... Bring out the <laughs> No ESDA. Can we please move on? Uh, I can't. I can't believe you guys did a holy grail reference. Oh god. <clears throat> oh, okay, but anywho, uh, moving on. Like Rose said, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. And if you'd like to contact us personally, links are in the show notes. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. Sweetie Bot will tweet stuff about the show and try not to go crazy. And you can also reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. Recently, magic. Yes, a lot of magics. New sets coming out. So, magic's all the way, my friend. 
Right. And Ro, how can they catch you? You can find me at t- my Twitter at twitter.com slash relicious underscore art. My DeviantArt at relicious.deviantArt.com. And my Tumblr, reliciousgallery.tumblr.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And King, how about you, my friend? Same place as always, uh, DeviantArt, Tumblr, Steam, Xbox. Picato. Definitely check out my Picato, guys. I'd, I'd love to see, speak to some of you sometime. Cool, 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 cool. And then, Nicola, where can they find you? Um, you can find me at Zodiac Nicola on Tumblr, Picato, and um, Fur Affinity, and um, Zodiac NLH on um, on DeviantArt. Mm, are you sure you want to find me? <laughs> I'll find you, Senpai. <laughs> I know where you live. She does. I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> you can find me at anticularpony.deviantart.com and also Tumblr. And my Tumblr blog is asksunshineandmoonbeams.tumblr.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on ponyvalife.com. Make sure we provide our show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Relicious, and no animals have been heard during the making of this episode. I'm Kick Ass King. I'm Anticular Pony. And I'm Zodiac Nicola. And we'll see you next week with a little more conversation, a little less animal abuse. <laughs> a little less conversation, a bit more bacon, yeah. <laughs> 2,500 <laughs> zombies were hurt in the making of this film. I left for that reference right at the end. Indeedy. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.